This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And syempre, napakadali rin mag-sign up since you can just sign up using your social media account or Google account or manually uh, sign up sa kanilang website. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. And yes, there are a lot of payment options using your credit card, debit card, via PayPal account or uh, if you have a PayPal account like uh, mine, yun yung gagamitin natin. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan at dito na ulit tayo ngayon para sa isang AMD Ryzen 3 3100. So alam naman natin mga kaibigan na ito na ang pinaka latest na nirelease na AMD lately with a 3300X. Pero syempre dahil ito na rin yung pinakamura, we take advantage this opportunity to compare it with the APU variant na 3200G. And ito nga, ipipicture din natin of course ang Asus products na B450M Pro Gaming at saka GTX 1660 Super. So pag sinabi kasing Asus, pricey, mahal, pero para sa kalaman ng lahat, meron ding mga budget variants ang Asus na tough gaming series. So pwede mong i-consider to like this motherboard is just worth 5,000 plus. And yan yung isa sa mga aalamin natin mga kaibigan soon dahil we will be creating a dedicated video by reviewing how good is the VRM of this motherboard. Pero for now, if you feature lang po muna natin sila with this kind of build na meron tayo with Techware Forge M chassis, the latest bang for the buck chassis ng Techware na meron kasamang apat na fans and of course, ID Cooling Zoom Flow budget options in terms of AIO ang ID Cooling. Kaya ito na rin yung sinama natin mga kaibigan para sa complete setup. If you want to see how does it look if uh, ibibuild mo completely itong uh, bang for the buck PC build natin. Kasi most of the times ng no mga previous videos, pinapakita ko yung kumbaga pinaka budget setup, pinaka cheapest setup na pwede mong mabuild. Lalong lalo na kung ang topic natin is uh, bang for the buck builds. Pero for now, ang ipapakita ko sa inyo is kung ano yung magiging pinaka final form niya. Whether ibibuild mo siya ng ganito na kagad or step by step na ibibuild mo siya. Para at least sa mga ibang kasamahan natin dyan na medyo inuunti-unti yung upgrade, magkakaroon ng idea what will be the final form or the final look ng kanilang build kung loaded na like this build na meron tayo ngayon. Pero syempre, since we have here the AMD Ryzen 3 3100, Nandyan po sa description sa baba mga kaibigan yung mga options na pwede nyong mabuild with this kind of processor from the cheapest option up to this kind of final form na meron na rin siyang aftermarket cooler. Alright, so for more videos mga kaibigan, feel free to subscribe dahil marami pa po tayong ilalabas sa mga budget PC builds here like the Ryzen 5 3500 coming up next. Para sa mga bago lang sa ating channel mga kaibigan, konting highlight na lang po ang may papakita ko pagdating sa assembly dahil meron na po tayo dyang guide sa ating description below kung paano yung step-by-step -step na pag-assemble ng PC build. And yes, uh, we started with the chassis of course, tulad yun na sinabi ko kanina, it comes with 4 fans ARGB and uh, meron siyang switcher dito sa top at the same time meron din tayong remote na pwede nyong gamitin if you want to switch uh, between colors. Pero kung yung motherboard mo supported po yung ARGB, then you may just sync with the motherboard. And uh, for the processor, of course, the Ryzen 3 3100. And for the motherboard, Asus TUF B450M Pro Gaming. And uh, ito yung ginamit nating motherboard mga kaibigan dahil ito is uh, if you feature at i-review din natin soon tulad na sinabi ko kanina. Uh, titinan natin how good is the VRM and at the same time it can go head to head with the competition so uh, by just looking at the physical structure ng kanyang uh, cooling or yung implementation ng mga heatsink I think it can really uh, go on par or even beat the B450M Mortar Max so as of now it still uh, remains as a theory alamin natin yan soon and we have here also the beefy uh, GTX 1660 Super of Asus 
Tough Gaming. And uh, yun nga, napakalaki niyang video card at the same time yung kanyang shroud is uh, napakakapal. Kaya kung makikita natin yung clearance niya dito sa ating chassis, sobrang sikip na. And this is what I really appreciate with Techware because it comes with a really good clearance dahil you can mount a zoom flow 240mm AIO at the top. So ayan na i-mount natin, top mount radiator. And ito nga yung talagang na-appreciate ko pagdating sa Techware, yung very good clearance pagdating sa installation ng mga cooler, uh, AIO, sa top, sa front. Take note mga kaibigan, this is the ARGB variant and meron pa siyang variant na non-ARGB. Pero in terms of functionality ng chassis, same po sila na mesh sa front. So pagdating sa airflow, there's no problem. Kahit sabihin na natin na stock fans lang yan, pero the fact na mesh yung front niya, It's already a big help to have a peace of mind na kahit pa paano hindi restricted yung airflow or yung ventilation sa loob ng chassis mo. Now let's go to the main topic mga kaibigan. Since marami na tayong comparisons na nailabas about Ryzen 3 3100 over the other processor lineup. And uh, yun nga, marami na rin mga videos na nailabas na maganda rin talaga ang Ryzen 3 3100. Pero ito ngayon is the question, which is the better processor pag Ryzen 3 3100 and 3200G. Ngayon mga kaibigan, if you have the budget to buy a video card, ano ang pipiliin mo? Mag 3100 ka pa ba at a 5K plus price point? Or stick with the 3200G na option dati na APU lang yung processor mo? And dito makikita natin mga kaibigan na the first benchmark between this processor that the advantage of having a better IPC Zen 2 architecture processor 3100, a dedicated processor over an APU 3200G. Sobrang lucky nung lamang. Maybe on FPS, average makikita mo na it's just 48 over 45 with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Pero kung makikita mo mga kaibigan yung row graphs, which is the better processor na mas smooth yung gaming experience, makikita mo na talagang bibihira magkaroon ng FPS drop with the 3100 unlike with the 3200G that you may even experience extreme stuttering with the AAA games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Of course, you will just go with 3200G options kung sobrang budget talaga at wala ka pang pambili ng video card. Now, it may not sound convincing with Assassin's Creed Odyssey but let's go with the Asado of Tomb Raider. Dito ngayon mga kaibigan, very significant na yung advantage. The average FPS is very distant between 3100 and 3200G. Dito ngayon makikita mga kaibigan na talagang kung meron ng pambili ng video card, 3100 ka na. Don't uh, go 3200G na talaga. Shadow of Tomb Raider give us the big proof na hindi lang Pagdating sa kung saan mas uh, maganda yung experience, less stutter ang may experience, kundi talagang even with the average FPS, 3200G is really inferior sa 3100, especially kung very CPU intensive yung game at 1080p resolution. And then lastly is with the Metro Exodus. Dito may papakita natin kung saan talaga mas smooth yung gaming experience. And uh, with the 3200G, makikita nyo naman yung graph mga kaibigan, yung pag-drop at saka uh, pag-fluctuate ng FPS. Sobrang laki ng distance. Compared sa 3100 na konti lang yung uh, distance between the peak and the bottom FPS na pwede mong ma-experience during gaming. So, ibig sabihin nito mga kaibigan, mas is smooth. Kahit nasabihin na lang natin, though, with this kind of benchmark, mas mataas yung average FPS pa rin ng 3100. Pero kahit sabihin na lang natin, mas mababa kunwari. Kung ganito naman yung distance ng FPS fluctuation, then it's still a better experience if you will go with the 3100. Pero with this uh, benchmark, Uh, Metro Exodus AAA game mas is smooth at the same time mas matas yung average FPS no doubt mga kaibigan that you should go for the 3100 processor. That is again uulitin ko mga kaibigan if you have budget for a video card. Pero kung wala kang budget for a video card then you may consider 3200G so hindi pa rin natin pwedeng sabihin na i-etcha pwede yung 3200G kasi marami pa rin mga gamers na kasamahan natin dyan na wala pa namang budget for a video card, for a new video card 
or hindi nila kayang pagsabayin yung pagbili ng video card at the same time processor. And then of course, like previous videos, dito ipapakita ko rin sa inyo uh, how closely on par itong processor natin with some games uh, comparing to Ryzen 5 processors. And makikita natin dyan mga kaibigan that there's no significant advantage of the Ryzen 5 series compared to this with some games like this uh, Call of Duty Warzone isa sa mga pinaka commonly played game larong lalo na sa mga mahilig sa Battle Royale games or sa mga mahilig ng multiplayer games Warzone is one of the most popular games as of now and uh, with the other games like AAA games of uh, Wildlands dyan makikita nyo rin mga kaibigan na almost on par lang din siya pero syempre uh, if you want to know more about the uh, advantage of those uh, processors over this 3100 then you may check some of my previous videos para makita niyo yung significant difference like the 3300X and the uh, Intel Tangent. Marami rin sa atin ang aspirant na streamer and uh, we want to try streaming pero yun nga, medyo kapos yung budget para sa Ryzen 5. Then, eto na mga kaibigan, kung sa Ryzen 3 3200G dati, parang pilit yung uh, paggamit ng processor or you cannot guarantee a uh, long time streaming now with Ryzen 3 3100, look at the benchmark, the percentage usage of CPU. Software encoder lang yung ginamit natin mga kaibigan. No hardware encoder or no NVENC. Makikita nyo mga kaibigan na sobrang laki pa rin ng allowance for the CPU. And yung CPU utilization mga kaibigan compared sa 3200G na nilabas natin before, sobrang laki ng agwat. Kaya this Ryzen 3 3100 with 4 cores, 8 threads, is a may go-to processor kung gusto mong mag-start ng budget streaming. Lalong-lalo na kung mga stream mo lang naman is mga eSports games o kaya uh, Dota 2. Kahit pa paano, you can still run the game at a high quality. Pero syempre, kung sa real world talaga na mag stream ka, of course, it's better to take advantage the hardware encoder ng ating GPU para sa long term or long time is streaming. And then lastly is of course rendering. And dito may papakita natin mga kaibigan na hindi naman siya nagpapahuli pagdating sa comparison compared sa Ryzen 5 lineup. And yes, it's very evident that it renders the uh, project or the uh, uh, video in a significant uh, advantage compared sa 3200G pagdating sa Adobe. Premier. And uh, makikita nyo mga kaibigan na talagang uh, 3100 is the go-to processor kung gusto mong uh, mag-edit din ng video o kaya gusto mo ring itry ang 3D rendering. Alright, so that's it mga kaibigan for the Ryzen 3 3100. The objective ng ating video is for you guys to be aware that you should not buy the wrong Ryzen 3 processor dahil sobrang nakakalito na ngayon like the 6K Plus processors Ang daming pwedeng pagpilian, Ryzen 5 3600, 3500, 3500X, 3300X, ang daming pagpipilian. Now at the same time, sa Ryzen 3 lineup, meron pang 2200G, 3200G, and now the 3100 na pampadagdag ng kalituhan sa atin. Pero para sa ating mga kaibigan dyan at hindi na malito, na kung kaya mo palang bumili ng video card at the same time, bang for the buck processor 3100 or a 5K plus processor, then you should go for the Ryzen 3 3100. And yes, I also want to take advantage of this opportunity mga kaibigan na magpasalamat sa ating community. Sobrang malaking pasasalamat ko sa pagsuporta nyo sa ating channel. And uh, yun nga, sobrang laki na natin. It's not what I expected na ganito kabilis. And uh, syempre nakakaingan nyo para sa akin na maglabas pa ng mas maraming content, mas maging mabilis pa. For now, medyo hindi ganun kabilis dahil nga may mga konting delays pagdating sa mga items na kailangan kong isama pagdating sa review. Pero at least, we have uh, uh, continuous every week na upload. And uh, I'm trying to make it uh, even faster in the coming uh, days or coming weeks na mag-upload pa tayo ng mga Mas marami pang pamparito sa inyo. Ryzen 5 3500 is coming. Yun yung isusunod natin na i-review with a Techware Void new chassis from Techware. And at the same time, maybe I will be using again this tough series for you guys to be aware that Asus is not always the pricey product but they also have this kind of a variance na tough series na pwede nyo consider lalong lalo na kung budget. At the same time, you want to uh, be sure that you are buying a budget motherboard with a very good VRM. Pero that is for us to prove in our upcoming review of this B450M Gaming Pro of 
Jesus. Alright, so that's it guys and thank you so much.